Hello, God's beautiful butterflies. Oh, how I've missed you. And and it's so good to see you. And thank you again for tuning in to Life of a Butterfly right here on WYTV 7, the Christian Broadcast Network. Thank you for being a part of um, this movement with us. Thank you for the ones that donate um, to this ministry, um, to this organization that's literally a nonprofit organization just slow, solely on um, wanting to do God's work and be his feet and hands in the world. So thank you for being a part of that. There will be a donate button if you would like to donate to this ministry, which it is, like I said, a nonprofit organization, but it's truly is a ministry because we all have ministry within us. So we are all ministers of God and never forget that. So thank you so much for pouring into me and pouring into them, but more importantly, pouring into the kingdom of God, which is why we do this. It's for him and not for any of us. So we are literally just his vessels of love and we're just here doing our job into giving you um, the word of God as he gives it through us. So thank you for trusting the God in me and trusting the God in and every one of the broadcasts on WYTV7, um, we are truly humble and we're truly thankful. Um, also, um, Life for a Butterfly will be on, and we're, we're still here, we're back, so we'll be on second and fourth Tuesday, so that it give us time to marinate in the Word. I'm so excited for that. Thank you, God. Um, again, second and fourth Tuesdays live um, at nine um, Eastern Standard Time, Life for a Butterfly. Of course, you can check it on all the different podcasts and, and broadcasts. I will have it listed for you in the um in the, the chat below. So I will have everything listed for you where you can find them also um, throughout the week when I actually post it in the podcast. So um, in my posting. So again, thank you for following me on Life of Butterfly um, on Instagram. Thank you for following me on Life of Butterfly on WYTV7. Um, just thank you so much for the support and love. It's truly humbling and appreciated. Again, thank you for the emails as well. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for your prayers. Um, just, I, I, I'm just so thankful. Like, and that's just where I'm, I'm, I'm always in a thankful place. I give glory to God for everything. This is not for me. It's all for him. Um, I just said, yes, that's it. And I just said, yes. And amen. And, um, he does the rest. He did the rest. So again, thank you for being here with me. Um, it's truly humbling and it's truly a blessing from God. Um, so, um, today, um, I, was uh i went to a homeless shelter um or or i know uh, to give to to with my church which is but that's a church of god here um that i'm here under here in sumter south carolina um with pastor sims um as the pastor and um howie owens as the uh executive pastor and um and i also have a home church in charleston which is totally totally his ministry, totally his cathedral now with Pastor Edie and his um, beautiful, lovely wife, co-pastor Edie. Um, so I'm just thankful for both of them churches are pouring into me. Um, but um, here in Sumter, and we went to a shelter this morning um, to feed not just homeless, but the misfortune, misplaced. Um, and it was truly humbling experience. And um it reminded me who who we are and who we're supposed to be in Christ. And uh, while I was there, um, God put some things in my spirit, man. So I just wanted to touch on um, those areas and and the reminders of who we are and what we're to do here. Just like I spoke about a few minutes ago, we're hand and feet of Christ. Um, we're here to be as Jesus was here on earth for his people to show them the way because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we could do nothing apart from him. So um, the scripture I'm reading from today is going to be Galatians 5 and 13, which says, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. Amen. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. Again, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly. And it, it's, it's beautiful to serve. Like today I served and I, and, and, and I, and I spoke with them. I sat with people and, and actually not people, excuse me, my brothers and my sisters. I sat with them. I talked with them. Um, they ate together. We communed together. We broke bread together and we talked to each other. But what I realized is what's so important is that we are here 
to serve one another, not to indulge in the flesh of saying my wants, my needs. Yeah, we get caught up in that headspace. And yeah, me too, to where we get to a place to where we want to do, um, oh, I want this and I want that. It's about me, 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 me. And God's like, no, it's about me. And what Jesus did, he served. He served his people in love. God gave us freedom. John 8, 30 says, when the son sets free is free indeed, but he gave you freedom to serve one another. He gave you freedom to go love on somebody. When you go through something, it's not for yourself. It's for somebody else. So set them free. We're here to show others how to set, how to be free as God has set us free. And again, yes, we're in the process. Every day I'm in the process. Every day God is I'm changing me and renewing my mind with a righteous spirit. Every day I'm changing, I'm evolving every single day, but I'm doing it for his glory. Why? Not for me, but for you to set you free, to help you in that place of where I struggle. And then you come and you send me messages and tell me how it blessed you. And then you in turn are blessing me by giving me more. And that's what we're here to do. We're here. Iron sharpens iron. Another sharpens another. I love that scripture. Why? Because it is so important to remind us that we are the body of Christ. Yet again, I know I talked about this um, two weeks ago, but we are the body of Christ. We're here. We need each other to function. And the people that are less fortunate, they need us. God gave you everything you have to bless somebody else. Your car is to be a blessing to someone else. Yes, he blesses you. But in turn, he's such a good God that what he gives you, it's called overflow. Your car, your home, your food, everything you have, your very body, your very being is overflow, the overflow of love from God so you can be able to pour and to serve into somebody else. Remember, and, and God, in Matthew 5, 14 through 16, God reminds us that we are the light of the world. But he also says, um, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven. You are a walking Jesus that you're, you are, you have your own ministry, but you are the face and hands and feet and mouth and eyes of Jesus. He get, he, poured himself. He died on the cross for you to pour into you so that you may become one with God and walk as he walked and finished. Because he already said it is finished. So what we're doing, we're just walking it out, walking out the finished process by faith, believing that God, you already, Jesus, you already died for my sins. You, it's already done. Everything I will, every sin I will ever commit, everything I will ever do, you already know about it. So it's already done. So I'm free in that place. So he's like, that's free. You're free in that area. So now what am I going to do with this freedom that Jesus gave me? What am I going to do with the very breath that he breathed into me? This new life. I'm a new creation in him in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. He reminds us that we're new creations in him. So what am I going to do with being a new creation? What's next for me? What, what do you want me to do? How can I serve you, God, by serving your people? What can I do for you, Jesus, since you've already done everything for me? And if it takes a sacrifice of getting up um, early and just going on and serving on the people, okay, Lord, it's your time anyway. I'm your body. This is your day. This is the day the Lord made has made. So I rejoice and be glad. Not the day that I made, not the day you made, but the day the Lord has made for you. The Lord has made for us so that we can go out and serve people and love on people. But the most important thing is have a relationship with God so you will know in turn what he wants for you to do. And that's why the word and getting a relationship with God and getting your word is so important and let him speak to you and pour out to you. And God spoke to me in this area because, you know, again, it's in my, I'm in my process. So I'm, I'm I'm still growing as well. So um, I challenge you, and this is my challenge as well, is that I am going to fast from social media. I'm going to do it for about six six days, and I'm going to fast from social media. And like, no social media. And in those times that I want, I find myself wanting to get in my phone and want to go to Facebook, I'm going to get in my word. Or I'm going to give God glory. I'm going to give him thanks because that's a place of where I'm learning. I'm spending more time on that. And I need to be in more time in this, more time with him. And again, I'm being transparent with you because we are all in a process. And I pray this blesses somebody. You are not alone in that. You're not the only one that sometimes you're like, you, you, you realize you're watching more of TV or you're on online more, you do, or you're working a lot or you're doing this and you're doing that. 
but we're spending less time with God and more time in the materialistic things of the world and trying to figure out what the world wants us to do. The world's going to be the world. It's not going anywhere. It's, it, I mean, it's not. But we are to be the change in the world. Just as when Jesus came, he interrupted everything that that they had re- religiously in their minds placed. You know, Jesus came to fulfill them and to show them how to love on one another. He gave us two commandments. Love your neighbor as yourself and love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. It, he fulfilled it. It's to love others how you as you love yourself. But there's another thing we have to understand. Do you love yourself? Do you know what it means to love you? So you can't love on others if you know what it means to love yourself. So understand that self is so important. So again, take that time out. What is that thing that's taking you away from God's word? For me, I'm a social media girl now, and, and, and I like to sit in front of the, t- the TV. And I'm just being honest with you. So... God's like, that's, that's where I, that's what I want right there. And there's nothing wrong with going on social media. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with um, watching TV. Don't get me wrong as well, but don't let it be so consuming you to where um, you go to bed, you say a prayer on your pillow real quick, or you just let a description, you just go to sleep. You give them like five minutes when you've been on TV or social media for like six, seven hours. I know I get it. I, I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that. So that's my challenge for you this week. What What is taking up most of God's time? It ain't your time. It's God's time. What is taking up God's time in your life? And um, in that place, lay it down at his feet and say, God, how do you want me to, what do you want me to do? And again, pray about it. Let God be your God. Let him lead you and instruct and teach you in the way he wants you to go and counsel you with his love and eye on you. That's Psalms 32, 8. I love that because he reminds us that he, I need him. Every day, I may be talking to you, but I'm just a vessel for him because you need him to learn how to serve one another, learn how to love one another, but also to love yourself. Self-love is so important because we can get so caught up in the world that tells us how the way we should look, what the way we should do, how we should wear, how we should talk, how just be who God called you to be. Dress how you want to just love how you want to love and let God change you. Don't let the world change you. Let God change. Be transformed. We're in this world, but not of it. And that's what today reminded me of is, first of all, to love myself so I can love others, but more importantly, so I can serve others, so I can serve God through others because they blessed me. It was like, oh, you were smiling. You're happy. And it's rare. And I'm like, when it's smiling and being nice and being kind become rare? When did that be walking past somebody, don't say good morning, become rare? When I was younger, that, that was just a norm. You walk past somebody, it was manners, you know, but now it's rare. How is that rare? When, when, did, when did we stop just being nice, just having a smile? A smile changes things. When did, when did, we, forget to, when did we forget to love people? And I realized because in the scriptures, God is love. If you don't know God, you don't know love. If you don't know God, you can't give love. That's the world's love. That's called lust, infatuation. It's here today. It's gone the next. But God's love is eternal because he is eternal. So when I give my love to you, what I give to you is his eternal love. It's a gift. I'm giving you the gift in which he gave to me. So that you can be free and then that we can serve, excuse me, so that we can serve others and be free. There's, and it's a place in my heart and it really is a dear place in my heart of loving other people and serving you because I know, we know how it feels to not be loved and to not be free. We saw that we we were out there in the world. We know what it felt like to keep um, messing with different people, to fill an empty place, to fill a void, you know. But everybody needs love. Serve love. That's the word. Serve love. Be the light and serve love. Serve God to be, show people who God is to you. Give people that. 
And you don't have to beat him over the head with a scripture because the one who came to me, who who showed, who taught me and told me who Christ was, showed me like, didn't beat me over the over the head with the word. She just loved me to Christ. And in turn, I, I want I was curious, I was like, what is that? And then she introduced me to Jesus. She I'm I'm in to introduce you to Jesus, his freedom and his love. I just want to introduce you to my God. And my God is freedom and love. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is. His name is Jesus, the Son of God. And I pray that this message blesses you as much as it blessed me. And in walking this message out today, and in walking this message out in my life, for my children, for my husband, for my family, um, I'm not doing this for me, for fame fortune i'm i'm doing this for god because i remember where i was in the club when i was lost when i was drinking and i was lost when i was trying to feel voids when i was lost and a beautiful woman by the name of kelly thompson that i love dearly came and sat next to me and what she was doing serving love and then in turn it changed my life the trajectory of my life because one person decided to step out and serve and be the change and be different, but still just be who God called him to be in freedom and love. And excuse my little nose, I was having my little teary eyes. Y'all know I'm a little emotional, <laughs> but it's, it's passion, it's love, believe me. But again, I pray that it's blessed you as much as it blessed me. And I pray that um, you have an amazing week. This week is filled with love and peace and joy. Um, I pray that you continually fly free and let God speak to you through his word and let him love on you. Start small. Um, get Go on the Bible app. I love the Bible app where they have little um, different plans you can go on and, and just start your day within a word or just or download and let it download. Just plenty of thing, there's plenty of God's word out there that Jesus wants to speak to you in, in different um, means. God speaks me throughout the day. Just pick it up and flip through the Bible and the word is for you. Like he'll speak to you. He'll meet you right where you're at. So let God love on you. And more important, let God set you free because we've, we've been set free to live free. So again, I pray this blesses you. Have an amazing week. Thank you for tuning in to Life of a Butterfly right here on WYTV7. I hope to see you here um, every second and fourth Tuesday. Um, and again, I pray it blesses you as much as it blesses me and be a blessing to someone this week and not just this week, but today. And um, remember who you are in God. Remember that you are chosen, you are his, and he loves you in everlasting love. Amen. All right. I love you, butterflies. Salah.